Welcome to the Dog Nerd Show, where we geek out over our best friends. I'm Megan. And I'm Michael, and this is a show about all things dog. Hey, everybody. Today, we have another terrier. Yeah, yeah. Got the Welsh terrier today. Uh, the landed Tom Jones. Yeah, it's not unusual. You want to be by anyone. <laughs> All right, so the Welsh Terrier. We are meeting Marcella again, who you may remember has the Airedale Izzy. She also has a Welsh Terrier named Paco. <laughs> and uh, let's talk a little bit about the uh, traits you might want to know if you're thinking about getting a Welsh Terrier. Um, they shed apparently minimally, especially if you do a lot of regular brushing, but they do shed because they have a double coat. So mm. It's not a non-shedding dog. Right. And you're going to find a lot of similar uh, characteristics to other terrier breeds with the Welsh Terrier. Yeah, they're going to be independent. They're going to be highly intelligent. Mm -hmm. Um, They were bred to do what they do, which is go after vermin. Mm -hmm. And so very active. So if you are an active person who loves to be out and about and you want a dog to take with you, this is a good one. Very hardy, a sturdy dog, mm-hmm. strong uh, four quarters, um, just a, a a lot of dog in a little package. Um, they do bark, you know, shouldn't be incessantly if they're getting a lot of exercise. Right. Um, they're very good diggers. So, mm-hmm. if, you know, if you're somebody who loves a beautiful lawn, Manicured lawn. Yeah, don't you know they they are diggers, um, especially if they're not exercised enough. So yeah. um, keep in mind they they also do like to be um, perched in high places, so they may climb on things. They're good climbers, um, but yeah, just pretty much like most other terrier we talk about, a lot of exercise, smart. Um, you know they are trainable, but with terriers, keep those training sessions shorter. Always end on a positive because. They're going to get bored. They're, it's not a golden retriever that wants to do everything that you ask it to do. They're going to do it. And once they're done, they're going to be like, I'm done. I've already shown you how I can do this. So without further ado, let's meet Marcella again and her Welsh Terrier, Paco. Hi, everybody. We are here with Marcella and Paco. And Paco is a Welsh Terrier. So we are big Terrier people. And uh, we we know a thing or two about Terriers. But tell us what it's like the day in and day out with a Welsh Terrier. All right. The Welsh Terrier is a Terrier breed. And they are very family oriented. They love the family where they live. They are very very protective of the family, but they think they are the boss of the family, <laughs> like most terriers does. Um, he's very nice with people and with other dogs. Um, they are super intelligent. They are uh, hunters, yeah. so he loves to chase all the animals in the backyard. <laughs> and he also digs a lot, trying to get out and continue chasing, <laughs> but that's fine. That does sound like typical typical terrier behavior. The, typical. They're, they're bred to hunt. They It's hardwired into them. They will do whatever they can. We've even talked to people about how I will never let my terriers off leash because if they see a squirrel, forget about it. Yeah, and not only that, uh, this breed in particular, they don't have a good recall. Yeah. So they will never come back. Yeah. They no. will just smell something and go with it until the end of time. <laughs> they will never come back to you. Now, they have a, a wiry coat, but it's a little different than, say, like our Border Terriers. It's a curly, wiry coat. Does it shed very much? They don't shed very much, but when it's a change of season, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, they lose a little bit of the coat, okay. so you have to brush them to maintain them. And actually, these dogs, um, when you take them for the haircut, some people don't use clippers. They yeah. decide strip. to pull it out, mm-hmm. so to strip them. And they really, uh, the coat looks really beautiful when you pull out all those white and gray hairs yeah. from the coat. Yeah, and if people aren't familiar with that, we are because when we got our chair. Terriers. It's like apparently similar to a horse's mane. You actually pull the dead hair out and, you know, the new coat grows underneath. Um, but beautiful coat, real tight to the body. Real tight. Right 
now he is in the medium coat because it's going to start being cold, so we are letting it grow. But is he gets really puffy? Yeah, <laughs> really, really puffy, and looks super cute. Yeah. So uh, barking. Is there a lot of barking? Yes, <laughs> because every every dog or every person that comes in the front of the house, he will let us know, <laughs> and he wants just to go and say hi and play. Yeah. That's all. Or just alert you that, hey, mm -hmm. there's something outside. It could be the mailman. It could be a child riding their bike. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. When they are inside the house, they like high places. So they always like the part, this part of the sofa. Yeah. So you will always see him on top of everything. Tables, chairs, the sofa, because he wants to be the boss. So he wants to see everything that is happening. He doesn't want to be uh, down there. He's got to survey his kingdom, right? Exactly. Watch his subjects, his loyal subjects. <laughs> exactly. So health-wise, we talked that he has some allergies, but are they a pretty healthy breed? Yes, they are. Uh, some of them has allergies to food or seasonal allergies, and well, that is treatable, but um, he's very healthy. He's okay. really easy. It doesn't take a lot to have him like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, any like is, is he good with so you said he's good with people is he I bet he is a fun kid dog ah uh, yeah <laughs> he loves I have two kids and he loves to play with my kids he's very fun inside the house and he's very gentle oh also. good he's, I was gonna yeah. ask that yeah because you know sometimes terriers can be a little rambunctious themselves so yes. depending on how big the kids are or, or how little you know I wondered if maybe that depended but he's very good he's very gentle he plays rough with my other dog but with the kids he knows when to stop and how to play and how much exercise does this little fella need well <laughs> they they need quite a bit just to be calm but I have another dog so that is a plus because yeah. they play a lot together so they weren't out together and we throw the ball we walk around but it's not like you have to have him in a bike and give a lot of exercise. Mm -hmm. It's just a proper exercise is fine. Yeah, and since he has the other dog to play with, that's a bit, and you have a fenced yard, so. Exactly, that helps a lot. Yeah, yeah, because I don't think, I don't think terriers are ever not active, you know? Like, I think until they're about 13, then I think they start to settle down, but, you know, generally that activity level is pretty high. Exactly. So, he seems wonderful. He was certainly happy to meet us, and <laughs> you were saying like he he needs to meet people yeah. and then he'll settle down and exactly look at how great he is exactly this breed is perfect for a family that really likes to have a dog to have in his lap but only when he wants to be in the lap <laughs> it's not when you want to have him in the lap and also when he's very independent so it's not those kinds that you have to just pay attention all the time no it's very nice and you just give the time that you can. That's awesome. And that's fine with him. Yeah, and mm -hmm. that seems to be a characteristic of most terriers because they had to be independent little hunters. So exactly. They love you, but exactly. they don't need to be all over you. Well, if, unless there's anything else, this has been a great sneak peek at the, the Welsh Terrier, and he's just, Paco, you're just such a handsome man. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Ah, Paco. Yeah. When you say his name, his little tail just goes tick -a -ding, tick -a -ding, tick -a -ding. <laughs> If you're listening on the podcast, you have to tune in because he's just a cute cutie. Yeah. With his little tail sticking yeah. straight up and waggling in the air. Um, so this breed, you know, they, they really don't know how far back it goes, but sometime in the 1700s, which that's is... A, that's a long time. Long time yeah. ago. Yeah. And as Michael said earlier, these guys were made to go after fox, otters, badgers, which are really tough critters to go yeah. after. So um, yeah. Welsh Terriers have, like I said, strong forequarters and really powerful jaws. As the AKC website said, this is not a, a dog for sissies. This is a, this is, or not a, a hunting dog, not a sissy dog. Cause yeah, it, it's, it's got to yeah. go after powerful little critters. Yeah. I mean, if you got a dog that's going after badgers, that's a pretty tough character right there. Yeah. 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 So um, a couple of fun facts. Caroline Kennedy, daughter of 
John F. Kennedy, um, had a an air or an Airedale, a Welsh Terrier named Charlie. Uh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know the the Welsh Terrier? I've seen numerous paintings, and and there's that Welsh Terrier over in the corner. So they were, you know, they were pretty popular. And you got to understand, Wales is not. Um, flat land it's it's rocky and craggy and and mountainous and very rugged yeah so these these dogs are very hardy dogs mm-hmm. and um, and that's part of the reason they have that double coat because of the elements and you know the cold the wet um, mm-hmm. they do have a somewhat waterproof coat when it's you know and it's and it's regular not when it's you know stripped um, but they're a friendly, outgoing, and playful dog. They yeah. love people. Um, and some of the research I found, people were saying this might be the friendliest of the terriers, um, more sensitive and friendly overall, a little more cuddly. Now, as Marcella said, cuddly on his terms. Yeah. You know, I liked her, her statement about he likes to be up high. He yeah. likes, he likes to be on top of the couch, not on the couch. What we mean is the back of the couch. Yeah. You know, so if it's up high and he can get up there on a table, I think she said. Yeah, <laughs> which is which is what we found with our dogs too. Yeah. In fact, if, if you have a dog like that, comment and comment the yeah. breed because it's very interesting. Because, you know, your sofa cushions get squished in the back. And we ended up getting a tight back sofa because we were like, all of our cushions are just getting squished down. Squished from, down. Because the, they want to be up there. They really do. So it's very interesting. Uh, she was talking about that, but the fact that that they're great with kids, great with family. Yeah. Um. I think it makes them a pretty good family dog. Yeah. And and they're they're just like any other dog. They they got high energy, but I don't think they're like Airedale territory. Like I, her I last. I don't dog. know. I think I think. You I think so? Th- I think they do because, you know, uh-huh. they, they have each other. Well, maybe they're not Jack Russell territory. Yeah, yeah. or Patterdale territory. Or Patter- well, yeah, <laughs> I mean, that's, that's the Energizer bunny there. But, but I do think they're very active. They need a lot of, um, you know, outlet. And, and if you have another dog, that's always great. Like if you have another dog that likes to play, they can play together. You could take mm-hmm. them for walks and hikes. and. But, yeah, I think uh, I think they're they're... <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know either. I mean, you tell us. One of, one of, yeah, <laughs> put it down in the comments, you know. But one of the things, too, is is because terriers tend to be, you know, like thinkers and they figure things out. We're, when we talk about exercise, we're talking, well, obviously, physical exercise, but they also need some mental exercise, too. And there's a lot of great games and stuff you can find yeah. uh, out there. I think we've talked about a few. Um, but, but we have to do a video on a puzzle game and show yeah. you guys how it works because yeah. it's a great thinking game. And like we've said in the past, even if you just want to, like, hide kibble or treats around the house and let them play hide and seek, that's a great way to get that mental stimulation they're using their noses they're mm-hmm. they're doing hunting foraging really yeah. so they're they're working for their food so that kind of stuff is good for all terriers but um you know i was thinking as we were getting ready to do this episode i thought we have interviewed a lot of terrier people and it's not because we're terrier people those are the people that have reached out to us yeah yeah but we hey we want to hear from the hound people yeah the working group Anybody has sporting sporting group, mm-hmm. just reach Toy. out to us. We're not we're not terrier only, it, <laughs> but <laughs> but the Welch Terrier was a very interesting interview and uh, not a breed that I was particularly educated on. So I was I was grateful for the uh, ed, uh, information, yeah, and then the research. So I was I was excited at the end of this. Uh, interviewed to to know a little bit more about that breed yeah and just such a great family so um, thanks guys for tuning in you can find us everywhere online at dog nerd show drop us a line dog nerd show at gmail.com if you would like to be interviewed we can do it virtually Um, we just ask that your dog make an appearance because it's all about the dogs Um, and please comment below what you like best about welsh terriers or what we didn't mention and we should know about what it's like to have an air a welsh terrier why do i keep saying airedale yeah because it's like the miniature version version, (laughs) so tell us what you like most about your welsh terrier or what we didn't cover because 
you know, it comes from you, the, the, those who have them as family members. So we'd like to know more. Absolutely. And also there's a little button down here. It says subscribe. Go right ahead and click on that. It won't cost you a dime. Mm -hmm. And then once you click on it, there's a little bell you can click on. That's a notification bell. that lets you know every two weeks when we put out the new video. Also, if you're listening to us on uh, podcasts, subscribe. We would certainly appreciate that. Reach out to us via our email. And uh, if you can't find us, uh, just let us know. Uh, but we are on all the podcast services, so you should be able to find us. Just type it into the search bar. But we really appreciate your comments, your subscriptions, and it just your interactions. It means the world to us. Yeah. It really does. Every time there's a comment, every time there's a new subscription. And I'm working on some ideas for a fan club. Oh. So I'm going to be working on some stuff for the new year. So um, actually, by the time this airs, it probably will be the new year. Yeah. So um, stay tuned because, yeah, I'm working on some ideas. Uh, that's cool. Well, that's interesting. Well, folks, as always, thank you for tuning in. We really appreciate it. We hope you enjoyed the broadcast, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Bye. Thanks, Bye. guys.